So do you think I'm enough to go into the station to make a statement? Well, yeah, at some point, I suppose. What if they found something? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? Something that links us to his murder. Like what, Jasmine? We scrubbed that flat from top to bottom. What if we missed something? We haven't. We burn everything. Listen to me, just stick to the story. If you get stuck, pretend that you're upset about it or buy yourself some more thinking time. I'm sorry it's early, but we've just heard the news. Sir. <laughs> it was until this happened and we had to come back early. Sir. Thanks. The wife was not happy. No. I don't suppose she was. Looks like we've got our murder scene then. Yeah, someone's tried very hard to clean up the flat. Still traces of blood under the ultraviolet though. Cause of death. Severe head trauma. No weapon at scene, but we could dive a still look. Did anyone hear anything? No, the flat next door's it's been empty for a while. But we've got a uniform conducting house-to-house -house inquiries. His mother's very distressed, apparently. But she couldn't think of anyone with a personal grudge. I think we need to speak to the girlfriend again. See what she can give us. Well, I suppose there's no news on the funeral yet, is there? Thanks for bringing tea round. It was really good to hear. Oh, that's no problem. Jasmine, are you sure you don't want to spend the night with us? No, no, you get off. You've been brilliant. We'll, uh, we'll wash up, won't we? Bring dishes back tomorrow. Yeah. I'll just get your coats. Do you want me to phone your dad, fill him in? No, uh, no, I'll wait till tomorrow. They'll probably be out tonight, I think. Oh, I'll get it. Hello, dearest Williams, this is PC Sheldon. Good evening. Is Jasmine in? Uh, yes, yes, she's just through here. Don't you, I can't do it, I can't go through with it. Yes, you can. Hello again, Jasmine. How are you doing? I'm really sorry, but we need to talk to you down at the station. Now, if that's all right. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I think it's just starting to sink in. Would it be all right if we came with her? Yeah, of course. Yeah, OK. Hmm. One of us go in there with you if you are. No, I'm okay. okay. Look, I just don't bother do this on my own. We'll just wait out here for you. So perhaps we can start by you telling me a little more about your relationship with Shay. Well, I wouldn't really call that a relationship, you know, it's just a few drinks. When did you last see him? I told Sergeant Drake. Um, it was just before he was due to go off on holiday. And you didn't hear from him after that, no? Phone calls, emails? Uh, yeah, I got a text, you know, just to say that he'd arrived safely. Have you still got it? Uh, no, no, I think I deleted it. I see. You must have been wary after you found out about his involvement with the McFarlane family. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I was. I wasn't being cynical, you know, just... just going out with him for a story. I, I liked him at first. You see, when I, when I realised what he could be mixed up in, though, I just backed off. But you didn't think to confront him about it? No, 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 not, not really. I was scared. Yet you were brave enough to try and run a story on one of the most notorious criminal families in Yorkshire. But if I knew how it was all going to end up, I would never have got involved. Maybe you should have come and talked to us then. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe I should have. And if I could go back and change things, I would. Hey, come on. It's OK. Sounds to me like Borden himself. No, you don't understand. He is dead because of me. You shouldn't blame yourself. It was a nasty piece of work. I think we've got enough. 
Thank you, Jasmine. I just felt like I was all over the place. I was useless. I almost lost it. Yeah, but you didn't. And you're home now. Say, they've still got the money in the McFarlane's, and that's where it's going to stay. Gary's no angel, is he? Just think about it as natural justice. Well, he could go to prison, Debbie. For life. Oh, do you honestly think they'll get a conviction? They'll chase the tails until some clever barrister gets him off, and by then the investigation will have been wound down. I mean, who really cares about Shane Doyle or Bent Copper? It'll all come to nothing. Don't worry. <sighs> Jazz? Jasmine? Stargazing. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.